Okay, how to study good, a presentation by Miss Sorby. For many of us, studying is a bit of a daunting concept, but hopefully with this presentation, I will be able to help you study good. Here we go. Okay, um, even though this is a topic test and it's open book, um, your book has lots of information. It'll have lots of artworks and drawings that may not be relevant to your test. And there's nothing worse than going into a test um, and flicking through your book trying to find an answer. So I'm going to tell you an effective way that I find how to study, but you may have your own method and that's totally okay. But this is for people who don't really know where to start. Oh, my gifts aren't working. Why are they not working? That's so sad. Anyway, okay, where to start? Make a list of the information you need to know for your test. So, I've given you a list online um, of the topics we've covered. Pretty much um, they were the ones in your booklet as well as the things we covered earlier in that term. So, if you have a key list of what you know you need to cover, that's the first place to start. Okay. Organise that information in the categories. So we don't want a jumbled cheat sheet of messy writing. So you need to break down your work into columns or sections so you can easily skim through and go, oh yeah, um, seven elements, one is tone, and then you have all your information for tone. Um, they can be divided differently based on what type of test you have. So you can do this not just for art, but you might also use this sort of method for history or science, depending on what type of test you've got. But having a sheet in front of you when you're doing your test um, is going to be a lot easier than trying to find all that information in your book. So underline or highlight important terms in different colours. So your there's signs that... Um, that demonstrates that like the human eye is attracted to bright colors or differences in in blocks of text so what you should do if you've got key information highlight it or underline it so you know what to look for when you're um like that key information when you're um doing the test itself so the big thing for me and this is what i find um if you've got your cheat sheet done or you've done your revision notes or your study notes or your flashcards, whatever works for you, test yourself. That's the best way for you to um, like get a practical understanding of the content. So you can do that anyway. You might um, get one of your parents to do it or a sibling and say, you know, um, what type of um, painter was Modigliani? And at first you may need your cheat sheet and then after that you might be able to come up with it for yourself which will make doing the test a lot easier for you when you have to sit it. You may also want to work with some of your friends that are doing the same thing via Zoom. Um, you might all organize a Kahoot, that's totally up to you. But testing yourself is one of the better ways of um, revising content. Um, oh, that's it. So it's pretty simple, only four real steps. So. How I would suggest it is make a cheat sheet or a vision sheet or flashcards um, to help you condense and summarize your information and then find some people or even by yourself, um, write some questions or look through your book. There would have been questions through those and those questions will help you um, with the test. So go back through your work and you should be 150% ready for the test um, in the next coming weeks. I hope this has been useful. If you've got any questions, let me know.